Hello guys and welcome to another video. So a good friend of mine recommended that I look into code forces. So we're going to be attacking the first problem today. So what I want to do is just start low and solve all the problems from 500 to 1000. And then we're going to go from 1000 to 2000 and so forth. Um, the first problem is called the wrong subtraction. And we're going to go ahead and solve that. So the first thing I had to do was explore this website because um, unlike HackerRank or Leak Code, where they give you an implementation to work off of, like giving you a function, a method that you actually need to implement and then return whatever is asked of you. This doesn't do that. Um, they have um, they have a place where you can actually write your code and you can submit the code. You can also attach a file. For example, if you were to solve the code in an external uh, editor, you can uh, get that into the website by uploading it. So if you click on the problem, um, what we can do is that we can go to the custom uh, test tab and we can um, paste our code here and then we can pick the language that we want to actually work off of. So if you're using you know, Java, uh, C++, Python, those are all options you can choose from. And then here, what we can do is we can put in our cust custom input and then we get our output here. And then as far as the submissions go, uh, you will need to have the problem code here, right? And then you can pick the uh, compiler that you're gonna use and then you can paste your code here or you can actually go ahead and browse and pick the code from wherever you save it. All right guys, so let's go ahead and solve this problem. Little girl Tanya is learning how to decrease the number by one, but she does it wrong with a number consisting of two or more digits. Tanya subtracts one from a number by the following algorithm. If the last digit of the number is non-zero, she decreases the number by one. If the last digit of the number is zero, she divides the number by 10. You are given an integer number n. Tanya will subtract one from it k times. Your task is to bring the result after all k subtractions. So the max that we have to take for n is going to be 10 to the nine and k is going to be between one and 50. So if we're given uh, 512 and k iterations equals four, we should get 50 back. So what I'm gonna do is uh, use code blocks to solve this and then we can just copy and paste the code in uh, the editor. And I'm gonna go ahead here and save this file as, um, let's do it as wrong subtraction. Do a wrong underscore subtraction. All right. So this code is going to be on GitHub. Um, if you guys want to take a look at it. So we're going to do some uh, includes. And let's do uh, stdio.h. And I think that should be it. And let's do uh, type def. Do this uh, unsigned, uh, long, long int, call it ul, define main. So we could take in the uh, input and k, so do input and k. So we could do a uh, scan f, Let's see if I can make this bigger. All right, so the scan f uh, percent value and then percent uh, input. And then we got to do the same thing for uh, k. So I could just copy this and put k right here. All right, okay, minus minus. I'm gonna say that uh, input going to equal input right, mod uh, 10. All right, so if this is true, what we're going to do is we're going to minus minus uh, one from input, or we're going to take uh, input and divide it by 10. All right, and then all we have to do is print out um, input. All right, so once we're done, we could run this. So for example, save it and then uh, compile and run. 
And if we put in um, 512 and 4, we should get 50 back, which we do get 50 back. Now we can copy this and uh, paste this online. So we'll go back to here and go to submit. And I'm going to use genu. And we could paste this here and then you could uh, hit the submit button. Uh, see right here is my name and this has been accepted here. All right. All right, guys, this will be it for this problem. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.